what's the next part now the bible says my sheep hear my voice and i lead them out all right um the bible also says however in the old testament that god essentially despises false prophets because they scatter his sheep they scatter his sheep they make sure that his sheep cannot eat they make sure that his sheep are starved they parch they're famished they not only are scattered some of them are just like fecklessly killed there was a sheep that heard the voice of god in this dream that was the character that i was in my dream and i wanted to eat because i was hungry but i was blocked by the occult god is saying that many people who were hungry for the truth who want to know jesus in this land that is south africa aren't even getting fed they're not getting fed by by true sound gospel preachers uh, and there is a whole bunch of occult activity involved in blocking the lost from hearing the gospel the true gospel the unadulterated word of God that does not come with all of these other uh, heresies these destructive heresies and doctrines of demons like this marred anathema gospel that is being preached all over the show those that are giving the real word of truth they are thwarted do you understand those that are giving the real word of truth they are thwarted by the occult preventing those that want to hear the word from hearing it essentially south africa is blocking christianity from continuing to grow it is blocking the kingdom of heaven from continuing to grow using occult activity so this lady ultimately got to a point where she was like i'm exhausted i can't give you a good and i know that i personally have low-key sort of kind of rebuffed the person that kept on emailing me because she was asking me questions that i feel like i had covered in my content and i kept on sending her there but she wanted private personal understanding and ultimately she saw that i was exasperated and stopped emailing me i felt kind of bad afterwards but the reason why i even had that constitution about myself was because i i'm so exhausted daily i'm busy recording videos i'm busy trying to upload them i don't have time to respond to emails all day to one girl that wants me to expand on all of her life issues i'm in no position i'm suffering too much i'm exhausted if my life was better i likely would be able to pay attention to such people better so please all that is happening all across the show on the ground in south africa where christians real ones are struggling to get to souls that really need to hear what's going on because they're so inundated busy sharing content on social media where they are being blocked from being heard or not just social media anywhere else at all that you can find yourself treasure in jars of clay like the lady the lowliness of that woman was the treasure in jars of clay the fact that she was a woman was God showing me that largely it is females in this country that are preaching the gospel and men refuse to take up their position they're frozen in a car fighting over women and me I was a South African for the gospel but where I would go to get the real truth of, uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ the person that I was concerned insulting or tapping on the shoulder off to hear what they have to say was too inundated with everything else and she was sold out and the people who bought all her content were the occult blockage of the christian gospel message from being sent out plus on top of that this lady was an alex she was in the alex component she was in a um a neighborhood that is unfamiliar to me essentially she we are, have been misplaced we have been thrown out of whack we are not giving the gospel to an audience that the lord has set us apart to give we we are like Jesus in Nazareth, thank you. We are prophets without honor in our own hometown. We have been misplaced and are wasting our efforts here. That's what God feels about South Africa. Literally, this land is in so much judgment. It's in so much hot water. I can't even begin for the life of me. The lady in the dream was also quite a big mama. She was fat. And usually when I see uh, people who are big, it speaks about holding basically refusing to release fat refusing to release the word of god when when you get given a dream and you don't share it you, you will see yourself a little bit chubby anyway i do in my dreams sometimes i'm a little bit chubbier than normal um that is god telling me you're not sharing all the work you're not working out you're not exercising you're not working out your own salvation with fear and trembling you are not sharing what i give you you are holding on to food you are banking it in your body and so you're gaining weight so that woman was fat and that's the reason why even though i get a whole bunch of these kinds of dreams um this time around i'm sharing it because that lady was was, was fat she was huge that mama was big god was showing me through that mama that you're currently too big you need to start sharing your dreams i give you a whole bunch of them and you're not saying anything now you are bordering on obese so christians you when god shows you stuff you need to talk you can't just sit on it because then god is going to call you a fat mama anyway whatever right so that was that that, that scene of that whole uh, dream so after this mama wasn't able to help me out to giving me baked goods even though i was happy to stand wait at her store and for her to finish baking even though I was risking my trip because it was already getting late despite all that um, I still could not get anything out and then I went on right ahead to Baraguana 
Now, that taxi rank is a lot more familiar, so too is Soweto, a lot more familiar to me than Alex ever could be. So I was essentially in a much safer zone. And in the zone, I saw the whole country, like, was literally Gobara, snake-like queues, different um, people going to different destinations, right? And it was all just bustling and dark and ominous. It's like everybody was just going ev anywhere other than where they needed to go, whatever, right? Uh, but remember, Soweto is a lot more familiar to me me than Alex ever can be so I was a lot safer there than I was with Alex but I still was not home here in Ripot where I live. What that God is showing me is a false sense of security. If I am in Pimville Soweto, Deep Kloof, Mzim Shope, if I am in Protea, if I'm in Tladi, I am not going to feel uncomfortable. Because I have Soweto Do you understand? I know Soweto. It's where I'm from. I would never feel uncomfortable in any kasi in Soweto at all. In a way that what Alex said, I would just feel out of place. Do you understand? But Soweto is still not home. It's still not the home that we ultimately resided in. It's where we started out. Mara, right now, go khaye ki momo wadi bote mo chaga tenko Vilkehevel. It's here in Redipot, here in this yard in Vilkehevel, um, Johannesburg. So unless I am in Vilkehevel, Johannesburg, I'm still not safe. The Lord was showing me a form of godliness that denies the power. He was showing me me a reputation for being alive but while you were dead he was showing me the church of Laodicea the church of Sardis and the church of Thyatira they tolerate the woman Jezebel God is going to throw them on a sick bed that's Thyatira have a reputation for being alive though they're dead that's Sardis lukewarm neither hot nor cold and so he's going to spit you out of his mouth that is Laodicea he was showing people that are in some kind of transitory phase in a lukewarm place it is not home where they are at but it is a familiar environment it's a home away from home i can never feel out of place we are on earth even though this is a finite place it's ending it's dying so we should not be comfortable and cushy and content here we need to look for a heavenly home a final ultimate place where we can truly rest my bed is in the yard at home is in my family is in like this is home this is where i can put like literally stretch my legs and lay down put my legs up and just relax because now i'm at home and the night can come and be the wee hours of the morning and i will be tucked in safely at home even though soweto is the home i used to have it's no longer the home that i currently have and so for those reasons i'm better i don't have a bed there i don't have anywhere to put my legs up my family are not there or at least immediate family are not there so albeit it being familiar and me never feeling out of place ever in Soweto I am still in a place that was my former home the earth is exactly like Soweto to me I started there but then we moved here the world's citizens and South Africa at large which is what was in that dream I cut it like it was the bulk of South Africa guys it was just a chunk of South Africa they were go taxi ranking go bad all going you know the saying all roads lead to heaven all of these taxis were going somewhere but they were all in so it i think god was showing me just the myriad of religions that south africans worship the, the polytheism there were these snake-like queues with people queuing to go everywhere but nobody and and everybody was trying to get go home everybody in this taxi rank was trying to go home but their belief as to how to get there was different how to get there was different it's all these religions these polytheistic religions that worship multi gods ancestral worship is polytheistic uh, hinduism in this country is a religion among especially the indians uh, polytheistic and uh, like there are so many uh, ways to get home for these people but they will also go by a transitory phase and what that is is the earth the earth we are here this is a transition a momentary one at that and in this space what we do and we say here determines if we get home what choice of tax we take at the taxi rank determines if you actually get home and guess what you will get to a home but it might not be the one that you signed up for eventually in eternity next part <laughs>